Joseph and Lizzie have expressed their desire to become a husband and wife. Human love is not sufficient to make a marriage work, but the love that God gives, combined with trust and faith in Him, provides a firm foundation for marriage. It's a wonderful thing when two people determine that this is the will of God for their lives. We rejoice together today and share the happiness of this couple, their families and loved ones because of this day. We wish you both the best of God's blessings, not only here, but in all the days to come. You had me at a low. I don't need nobody else. I got you, and you got me too. Lizzie, I vow to be there for you in times of trouble and happiness. I vow to be the man you love today, tomorrow, and forever. I vow to be your only love for eternity. I vow to make my life yours and build my dreams around you. I promise to listen and always consider your feelings and thoughts. I vow to always put our family first. I vow to be faithful in the eyes of God to our covenant. I vow to look at my ring as a reminder of my commitment to you and our family. I promise to love you the best I can for our entire lives. I vow to always be your protector and provider. I vow to always be your best friend and to have fun with you every day. I vow to be your husband for the rest of my life, Lizzie. I can't wait to spend the rest of our lives together. I love you. We can leave and run away someday, someday. Three years ago, I could have never imagined I would be standing here in front of the man I love, looking into the eyes of my soulmate. You got it. <laughs> and starting our forever. I'm right here. What started off as friends is now family and we have one person to thank for that. God, I know he loves me so much because he took the time to create you just for me. Joseph, you're the strongest, most loving, kind, and compassionate person I know. From the beginning, I've never doubted that you have and will continue to make me a better woman, partner, and mother. You believe in me, you support me, and most of all, you accept me. You've opened my heart to unconditional love. So today, in front of our family and friends and God, I promise you this, my loyalty, my respect, and my unconditional love. I promise to pray with you, dream with you, laugh with you, cry with you, build with you, and grow with you. I know that in life there are so many uncertainties. <laughs> I can't promise that tomorrow will be perfect or life will be easy, but I pray that no matter what challenges might carry us apart, We'll always find a way back to each other. Today, June 29th, 2019, I give you my whole heart. I promise from this day forward, you shall never walk alone. Joseph Jeffrey Dodgen, I love you with my soul. And may that be the space where only you and God dwell forever and always. I've been to be wise. As much then as you, Joseph, and you, Lizzie, have offered yourselves each to the other, believing it is God's will that you become one flesh, and believing that God has led you to this place as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I take great pleasure in pronouncing you husband and wife. What God has joined together, let not man put asunder. You may kiss the bride. Yes, yeah, so call me in a time that you need a favor. Call me in a time I can come and sing. I was with Joseph, I know for sure that my mom and dad knew I was safe. I know I'm safe. All of, uh, we know we're good. I mean, we could be anywhere on earth. If we got Joseph, he's going to get us out of it. Lizzie came around about, what was it, two years ago? And I never met her. I didn't like her. <laughs> he just told me about her. And I thought, oh, you don't need a girlfriend. You need to hang out with me every weekend. You're my driver. First night I hung out with Lizzie. We went to, I don't, I don't know if there's a word, the bluff. So you jump off, it's a rock you jump off of. I was, I met Lizzie, first time I ever met Lizzie. And I jump off first. I'm waiting who's gonna jump off next. And here comes Lizzie in next. 
And that's when I realized that she's way cooler than Joseph. <laughs> so I was good with her from that point on. She's always hung out with us and got along great. I'm just going to end it with, if he takes half as care of you as he does his friends, you'll be good. We can always make it through. What we do is what we do. I can take you anywhere, somewhere. We won't be scared. Lizzie has always been a big sister to me, and I've just cherished her. I mean, ever since I was little, I thought that she just walked on water. If she had an American Girl doll, I had to have one. If she had boots, I had to have some. I mean, that was just how it went, and it still kind of is to that day. But anyways, I've just always cherished her, and I hoped and prayed that one day someone would cherish her as much as I did. The Lord was definitely in the ballpark for Lizzie because, dang, did he give you a good one. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> Um, but I've been absolutely more than privileged and honored to um, hang out with these guys. I'm the annoying little sister that always gets to tag along. Gosh, I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> um, I just love you guys so much, and you have been absolutely wonderful to me. And I'm so blessed to be able to call you guys my family. And I love you so much. So cheers to Lizzie and Joseph in answered prayers.